am I? What's going on? What is all this? What's that awful smell? The weather storm isn't dead yet. Not even close. Uh, what now? Who are you? Jesse, Jesse, where are you? Say something, Jesse. We're coming. No way, no way. You found Gabriel? Who's Gabriel? We need to get out of here now. This way. Jesse, you made it. Man, Gabriel? Did you say Gabriel? Look out! Those Endermen are running the wrong way! They'll be killed! Soren? I can't stand by and watch. I'd be condemning them to death! Soren, what do you think you're doing? These Endermen are running directly into danger! You're putting us in danger every second you just stand there! Oh. Jesse! They're falling behind! Axel! You gotta move faster! She's too sick! This is the best we can do. They're not gonna be able to outrun it. Not on foot. We gotta find a way to move faster. We're all gonna be caught in the tractor beam. We need transportation. Anyone see the minecart? I think Axel still has one from the nether. But it won't help. We need to lay down too much track. Then we'll have to use the next best thing. Hang on. I've got Petra. Then I'll take Gabriel. Hold on. This might be a bumpy ride. Come on, horses. Whatever you do, don't look back. Ah! I looked. Everyone, follow me! <laughs> Jesse, look out! <laughs> this is awesome! Come on, horses! Whatever you do, don't look back! Ah! I looked! Everyone, follow me! Jesse, look out! <laughs> this is awesome! Axel, stop backseat steering! I can't help it. I'm getting horse sick. It's gaining on us! No offense, but you could use a little practice. First time on a horse here. Watch it! You try to knock me off this thing, Jesse? Sorry. I turn around to see if it's gaining, but it's all I can do to hold on.
Endermen move blocks. It's what they do. Guys, come on. We gotta build a new one, like right now. Come on, faster. We need more blocks. I got some. It's getting closer. My ear. Sorry. <laughs> we made it. I actually freaking made it. Jesse, Gabriel was saying some pretty weird stuff back on that horse. He might have wither sickness. I don't know. You never acted the way he's been acting. I'll go talk to him. Hey, how are you feeling? I, I'm afraid I don't feel much like myself at the moment. Gabriel, it really is you. They told us you'd kicked it. Uh, who are you people? It's me, Magnus. Old friend, don't you recognize us? It's Soren. The Witherstorm did something to him. You mean that thing we just rode on? No. That was a horse. <sighs> what a terrible turn of events. You! You're the one who rescued me! Tell me, please, what is going on? I remember only blackness. And then, suddenly you were there. All that matters is you're safe now. You're among friends, Gabriel. I don't feel safe. All I feel is the horror of being in that monster. It was dark and foul, and I was sure I was a goner. Well, you aren't. You made it back alive, which is more than I can say for some of us. Oh, man. Ellie. For a second, I almost managed to forget. You guys talking about Eligard? I just can't believe she's gone doesn't feel real. How? How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend, but a member of the Order of the Stone! She knew the risks, and she still let me take her armor. She was really something else. Even if she did make me feel like the dumbest guy in the world sometimes. Ma! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! I want to know is, what happened out there today? Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. You were the one in the middle of everything. What went wrong? Soren, none of this is Jesse's fault. Who cares whose fault it is? The command block is still out there. And now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one weather storm to three. Our plan was a total failure. I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. Why didn't I destroy that cursed block ages ago? Well, plan A didn't work. So the question is, what's plan B? Well, why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? <sighs> I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? <laughs> you have no idea. That jacket. I recognize it. Lucas always wears that jacket. No. There were other people wearing that very same jacket when I was thrown from the monster. Ugh. It hurts just to think about. Hey, hey. It's okay. Jesse, if what Gabriel said is true... I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but... If they were just trapped in the wither storm... Lucas! Your friends could still be out there. I know. And that means I... I gotta go after them. They might need me, Jesse. Whoa. I suddenly feel really dizzy. Easy, easy. I gotcha. Hey, buddy. You doing okay? <laughs> of course you are. Wish I could say the same for everyone else. Petra, how are you doing? Hey. 
Hey, you feeling any better? Better is relative. If I just sit here and don't move or breathe, it's almost bearable. Man, if it wasn't for Ivor, she wouldn't even be like this. Ah, no kidding. That's not exactly true. Ivor built the Wither, sure, but he couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. If I'd just taken a second to think about it, that all I cared about was getting that stupid diamond. This isn't all on you, and you know it. I was in on the deal, too. But I brought that skull back solo. I was Ivor's henchman. Well, I was your henchman. So based on the transitive property of henchmen... Just know, I'm gonna do everything I can to make this right. Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear, but you're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. Maybe you should rest in this cave for a while. I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, then I'm... <coughs> fine! If you try to keep going... I'm afraid you're not gonna make it. No. No way. I'm not a quitter. You staying here is the right move. You'll never get better if we keep pushing you. But I want to be there for you guys. I know you do. And you will. Maybe you're right. It's the right call, Jesse. I hope so. Gravel? No. Dirt? I don't think so. <sighs> over cobblestone. Might come in handy. I'm not gonna lie, man. But we've pulled through worse, right? Have we? How's it going? Tell me, Jesse. Who is this person? He keeps insulting me. One minute I think I'm talking to a friend... The next I'm being made fun of. That right there is Magnus. Everyone knows Magnus. Magnus? Hmm. And how do I know him exactly? I sense we have a history, but... I feel I need a little reminder. You guys defeated the Ender Dragon together. The most fearsome creature this land has ever seen. Really? Really? You're kind of a big deal. It isn't working. He doesn't remember. Talk to him about your past. Something only you would know about. Like what? It's been so long since we've seen each other. I'm not really sure what would be useful. Tell him more about the Order. Who you guys were. How you got together. Anything. Well, we came together because we'd love to explore. And we split apart because, well, uh, that's a long story. But in between, it was like we were invincible. Man, those were the days. Thank you for sharing that with me. And Jesse, thank you too. You've been a big help here. I, uh, I need to repay your kindness. I'm not sure how exactly. It's no problem. I'd have done it for anyone. All the same, you have my thanks. Now then... Tell me more about this Order of the Stone. Man, I don't even know where to begin. Petra, you sure you're okay? I'm fine, Jesse. I just need to rest for a bit. Glad you came along. Just don't tell Reuben I said that. He might get jealous. Lucas, what are you doing? I told you. I'm going after my friends. I thought the other ocelots were dead. But if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far. But I can't leave them alone out there. Not with three wither storms raging. And what if Gabriel's wrong? In case you haven't noticed, he's not exactly firing on all cylinders right now. I've got to try, Jesse. Otherwise, I just couldn't live with myself. Lucas. Look, 
You and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. Same way you'd go back for any of your friends. I can't believe I'm saying this, but if your heart's telling you to go, then you gotta go. Otherwise, you'd be heartless or something. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. I'll find them, and then I'll find you again, too. I promise. Thanks. Before, but things are different now. We've lost too many people already. The world needs us, Reuben. So much of it has already been reduced to bedrock, and it's up to us to save the rest of it. Well, maybe that is a lot of pressure for just a person and a pig, but we have to find a way. That's what I said. Isn't it? locking the command block away, so only you could use it. Soren, you need to listen to me. Oh, what good has ever come of that? Haven't you done enough, Ivor? Like, say, single-handedly destroying the entire world? Well, technically I set in motion a series of events whose end result appears to It's be the same thing! What you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> Obviously! No, I mean specifically this group. The Windstorm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. Gabriel? You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. You mean the Order's amulet? Yes, Sora. That amulet. And the reason you didn't tell us that ages ago? Gabriel was gone. I didn't think it mattered. Right. Except Gabriel gave the amulet to me. What? I... I didn't know. Ugh, Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. Endermen. Endermen? Jesse's right. The Withers gaze passed over them, and they went wild. We actually just saw a bunch of Endermen pull blocks off of a Wither storm. So... So, enough of them working together might be able to destroy a Wither storm entirely. It's a promising concept, at least in theory. If I'm seeing all the pieces correct. Could you coordinate the Endermen somehow? Make them attack all at once? If I know my Endermen, all we'd need to do is get them into the storm's vicinity. In fact, there's probably more than enough of them still in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas... Hush, Ivor, for once! Ugh. Question is... How to bring the Storms and the Endermen together? 
Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. At least, not from mere mortals. We know for a fact the Witherstorm will follow the amulet. So if we take the amulet back to your fortress where the Endermen are... Yes! Yes, that's it! We'll lead them straight into a massive trap! If we can't bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms, we bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen! Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block! Ugh, oh, yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a formidable. Actually, I may have a solution to that. You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a failsafe. A backup plan, just in case. Well, I'd say just in case is here. Ivor, how could you keep this secret? Oh, believe you me, keeping secrets is easy. So I made something. An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon, and you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever! Yes. Yes, that's it. It could very well solve all our problems. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go get that book. Just one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is sort of far away. How far could it possibly be? Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Oh dear, what was that? I can't believe it found us so quickly. It just keeps coming for us. Well, we can't stand around and wait for it. Guys, there's a reason it's been following us. Ivor says it's because of the amulet that Gabriel- Ivor! It is you! Good to see you too, Magnus. Hello, my name is Gabriel. Somebody pinch me. Anyway, Ivor figured out the Witherstorms are drawn to the amulet, so we're gonna lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted superweapon. You figured all that out just now? The point is we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll take it. You can't. I can, and I have to. There's no way I can let you do that, Axel. You don't understand. I'm not asking. I thought you'd trust me by now. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's fortress. Well, Axel shouldn't have to do this alone. I'm coming with you, man. Nice. Well, I'm going with Jesse. I, I pledge to help, and that's what I must do. But Lucas is out there all by himself. There's nothing you can do for him now. Guys, we need to go. Now. Hey, Jesse. Let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The griefer grab? You got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you at Soren's, all right? Not if I see you first. further.
we there yet? No, 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 we are not there yet. Sore. Feels like we've been riding forever. I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our world, but the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's way of keeping life interesting. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Pearl in noise, floating points. These are not matters to be toyed with. You're scaring everyone, Soren. And for good reason. The Far Lands lie at the very edge of all things, where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit, and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? I don't know. I'm too hungry to care. No kidding. I'm starving. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. You never know what might be lurking around. What was that? My stomach. Guys, we can't turn back now. Not after coming so far. Fine, but I'm taking a break. So am I. We mustn't linger long. The Far Lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? <laughs> Potato? You're coming with me. It's not much, but it'll help. Like they say, two potatoes is better than one. I think they say that. Hey, Jesse, have you found any food? I should probably take what I have back to the group. Potato. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Witches hate trespassers. Besides, there are plenty of potatoes around. Is that a witch? <laughs> Jesse, we shouldn't be here. Witches are very strong. Let's get out of here. Good idea. <laughs> Guys! Jesse, did you find any food? Actually, yeah. Some potatoes. But it'll have to wait. There's a witch nearby. We saw her creeping through the swamp and... She's here! <laughs> oh no, you don't. Watch out for her potions! See you later, you nasty... 
nasty old thing? <gasps> oh no, skeletons! Witches and skeletons? That's a deadly combination. Her potions combined with their arrows? Oh, we'll all be killed. We need to distract them and get out of here. Fine, but how? The rest of you, go! I'll hold them off. What? Ivor, no! There's no time to argue. Just head for the corner of the glitch wall. The what wall? Hey, you witch! You're not the only one who can throw a potion. Come on. Hold on to your potatoes! <sighs> Guys, I think we lost him for... Wow. You lost him for wow? What is that? Oh. Wow. It's like we're at the edge of the world. Actually, we seem to be at the corner of it. Welcome to the Far Lands, my friend. I'd feel a lot better about going into this crazy wall thingy if I wasn't still hungry. Well, at least Jesse found those potatoes. That might be the saddest sentence ever uttered. <laughs> Quite a sight, isn't it? Stretching skyward in all its glory, like a monument to chaos itself. This wall. Did Ivor build this? No, of course not. This is a natural phenomenon. The intersection of two of the great walls that form the boundary of our world. Incredible. You can say that again. Incredible. My fault. Should have seen that coming. Doesn't seem as scary as I imagined it. Huh? A little fear is healthy sometimes, Jesse. Whatever Ivor is hiding in here, it will be extremely well guarded. This way, I suspect. I'd feel better about this if the rest of our group was with us. Come on. Would appear so. A massive one from the looks of it. If Ivor used the command block to build this, it could hold unspeakable peril. Why do I sense that entering this so-called maze would be a grave mistake? Because some part of you still knows Ivor. Unfortunately, this seems to be the only way forward. There has to be another way. A secret door, or I don't know. We've followed Ivor to the Far Lands. We might as well keep going. Here we go. Into another dungeon of doom.
stone waterfall? That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. The far lands may be perilous, but they are indisputably fascinating. We should probably keep moving. Guys, looks like this is a Jesse! <laughs> Too many! We can't fight them all! Everyone, back! Guys! Climb the vines! <laughs> well, that worked, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. But now what do we do? We're all separated. Let's just head that way and find a place where the paths connect. Sure hope they don't get lost in there. I hope I don't get lost in there. I think it's safe to say the Far Lands are strange. It's weirder and weirder.
Ivor kept some redstone dust handy. And a slime ball. Huh. Redstone blocks, some pistons. Wonder what this thing's supposed to be. Hello? Anyone? Livia! Is that you? Jesse! There you are. I thought I'd never find you. All those dead ends back there. Any sign of the others? Not yet. This maze? We don't have time for this. Who even knows where the others are by now? I mean, the clock's ticking here, Jesse. Yet we're lost in some elaborate puzzle. Well, at least we're back together. Yes! The Dream Team reunited! <laughs> now the Dream Team's just gotta find a way across this gaping bottomless pit. What about this thing? Could it get us across? It's some kind of flying barge. It would probably get us to the other side. But it's in really bad shape. And it's really complicated. You can fix it though, right? I don't know. I think it's out of my league. I wish I'd had more time to study with Eligard. It can't be that complicated. Not if it's something Ivor built. Half built. Which means it was hard enough that he got stuck and gave up. This layout doesn't even make any sense. What was Ivor thinking? Or maybe it's just me. I mean, Eligard herself said I don't have what it takes to be a great engineer. She was right, I just can't hack it. I might as well be a carrot farmer. Eligard didn't know you. Not the way I do. But Jesse, she was the greatest redstone engineer ever. She was in the Order of the Stone. Sure, but the Order are still people. Just like us. Right. Just like us. I mean, how are we the ones saving the world when even they don't have what it takes? Soren and Ivor are always at each other's throats. The greatest warrior in history doesn't remember his own name. All I ever see Magnus do is argue, and we both know what happened to Eligard. If the Order can't do this, how are we supposed to? How are we supposed to do anything? All I know is, the world is depending on us. And maybe the world is in trouble. I mean, they defeated an Ender Dragon. Can you name even one thing we've done right? And I don't mean managing to stay alive. Well, for starters, we're the ones who brought them back together again. You found Eligard, I found Magnus. We both played a role with Soren. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Ah, all right. I'll try it one more time. Wait a second. I think I see what he was trying to do. Jesse, take this piston, craft it into a sticky piston, then place it on the other side of the barge, along with a redstone block. You got all that? I think so. Okay, a redstone block.
Okay, let's put the redstone block where it's supposed to go and place these pistons. We did it! We need flint and steel to get it started. I'm proud of you, Olivia. Thanks, Jesse. And thanks for everything you said just before. It really helped. No problemo. It must be this way! Run! Go, go, go! Quick, onto the barge! Jesse! <sighs> that was close. Everyone okay? For the moment, I remember something. Didn't Eligard build a machine like this once? Yes, in the nether. <clears throat> and you were terrified of flying on it. What? Stuff and nonsense. <laughs> no, no, I'm positive. You spent the whole ride quivering in terror. Soren, is that true? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose I might be mistaken. Mm, I liked you better when you had amnesia. Well, that was exciting. Uh, by exciting, I assume you mean absurd and unnecessary. Let's go see what he's hiding in there. So many books. We should be careful. This place could be booby-trapped. Let's just start looking for the enchanting book. A brief history of cubism. Crafting for noobs. <laughs> Revised. A collector's guide to precious gems. None of these are enchanting books. How to train your slime. The various uses of mushroom stew. Potionology, volume 24. Oh, none of these seem to be enchanting books either. Olivia, any luck? Not really. Ivor has too many books, and there's too few of us looking. How did we end up all split up like this? I feel like we're spreading ourselves too thin. I miss how things used to be. That first night we all spent together? Look, we might be spread thin, but we're all still a team. That's how teams work. Hey, you almost said teamwork. See? We're still funny. And we can still get things done. I guess being split up just means we can be in more places at once, right? Kinda like the wither storm. Let's just forget that metaphor. How I learned to stop worrying and love mining. Hmm. The unabridged redstone encyclopedia. Zombies and pigs, an intimate memoir. <gasps> I think I'm in the wrong part of the house. Find anything yet? Huh, in this mess? Uh, it's as though Ivor learned nothing from my lectures on organizational methodology. If only he hadn't tried to fight those cursed witches, he could just tell us where the book is. Coming here was his idea. He should be here for it. He was just doing what I asked. It wasn't his fault we got separated. Not really. Is that supposed to make me feel better? 
There's neither rhyme nor reason to how these books are stored. Finding anything here is impossible. Tedious, maybe. Impossible? No way. Fine, I will continue this monotonous search. But I reserve my right to grumble about it. It's a deal. Ruben, what are you doing? <coughs> yeah, well, you're gonna get yourself cooked. I've told you before. Stay away from lava. <laughs> 20,000 blocks under the sea. Learn to succeed by thinking inside the box. I've gotta be missing something. Wood planks. Those will be useful. Hey, Olivia. I think there's some redstone over here. Looks like a circuit. We probably just need a lever to power it. <sighs> Too bad I don't have one. Yeah. No lever, no functioning circuit. There's nothing I can do until I have a lever. Unless... Nope, nothing. This Ivor character... I'm recalling that he knew something about potions. Could one of these stop the Wither Monsters? I'm remembering correctly, am I not? What do you remember? I seem to recall that Ivor was... better with potions than people. And he... he... Keep going. Ah, nothing else is coming. Besides the whole Ivor being a jerk thing. Potion of blindness. Potion of dullness. Potion of nausea. None of these will help me. Jesse, am I going to be all right? Or is this just who I am now? Always struggling to remember what I was. Don't worry. We're going to find a way to fix you. You and Petra and everyone else the Witherstorm affected. But to do that, you'll need to destroy the command block, will you not? So that's exactly what we'll do. You never stop fighting. I admire that. First, I'll need some sticks. Okay, got the sticks. There we go. A good old-fashioned lever. Like it was made for it, which it was. Let's see what this sucker does. a secret passage in a house that nobody ever visits. More like, why wouldn't you? Secret passageways are cool. Good point. What the? Are you guys okay? We're fine, but the lever isn't working anymore. Stay there! We'll head down and see what we can find!
Whoa. What is all this? Ha! <laughs> Incredible. He's gathered them all in one place. Gathered... what exactly? The treasures of the Order of the Stone! Uh, the stories I could tell about these dusty old things. I don't see any enchanting books, though. Maybe through there. Uh, locked, of course. There must be some way to open it. Those are gas tears. Now that's pretty bright. Prismarine crystals? You've got to be kidding me. I've only ever heard of this stuff. <sighs> Locked. So why does Ivor have the treasures of the Order of the Stone? Did he steal them? No, 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 no. We, we let him keep them when we split up. You let him keep your treasures. Frankly, Jesse, it's a long story. No way. Is that what I think it is? So why does Ivor have the treasures of the Order of the Stone? Did he steal them? No, 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 no. We... We let him keep them when we split up. You let him keep your treasures. Frankly, Jesse, it's a long story. These are prismarine crystals. You can only get these underwater, right? Precisely. We nearly ran out of oxygen getting these. <laughs> Eligard had to use a spare bucket just to grab a few extra breaths. We used most of these to craft that sea lantern over there. This is all that remained. Jesse, what are you doing? Uh, taking this really cool rare item, we might need it to unlock that door. Uh, very well. Just be careful with it. These gas tears, they're super hard to get. You don't know the half of it. It was our first official mission as the Order of the Stone. We fought those ghasts for hours, and these tears were our reward. Wow. Just gonna borrow this. Am I crazy? Or is this a sea lantern? Ah! The very same one the Order built all those years ago. We were so green back then. It looks just as bright as on the day we crafted it. A sea lantern, huh? Soren, is this the actual Ender Dragon egg? Huh. Alas, yes. The only thing that remains of our final adventure together. No way I'm leaving this behind.
So where'd this packed ice come from? Well, we brought it back from the Ice Plains Spikes biome. It was colder there than anywhere we'd ever been, but <laughs> Magnus slipped so many times our laughter kept us warm. After that, we knew we were ready to face the Ender Dragon. Ooh. Cold and slippery. Aha! A hopper! Why is Ivor hiding a hopper in his basement? Looks like a regular hopper. That's hooked up to a bunch of redstone circuitry. Man, Ivor sure does love his puzzles. Hmm. Five slots. The Ender Dragon Egg. So cool. Let's this egg was the last thing they got as a group. Soren said they got this ice just before fighting the Ender Dragon. A sea lantern. Soren said this lantern was crafted from prismarine crystals. Prismarine crystals? The Order used these crystals to make the sea lantern. Huh. Those were the right objects. But I guess it was the wrong order. Tears. Yes! You solved it! But how in the world did you know what order to put them in? There were 120 possible combinations! Everything I needed was in your stories! Nice work, Jesse. You know, I often give Ivor a hard time, but for all his complaining, his time with the Order clearly meant a great deal to him. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, let's go get that enchanting book. By the stars, the Ender Dragon, with replica Ender crystals and all. Wow, I always wondered what it looked like. Hmm, no way out. Soren. What's this thing supposed to be? It appears to be an homage to our battle with the Ender Dragon. Despite his anger, Ivor never stopped being fond of us. <laughs> he was a big part of our team, after all. We're missing something here, Soren. And I have a feeling the key might be locked in that head of yours. I have a key locked in my head? What I'm saying is, I think you need to tell me about the Ender Dragon battle. Oh, ha! Huh. if only you'd been there. It was a fight for the ages. We'd spent weeks preparing for our greatest battle ever. But even so, the Ender Dragon was stronger than even I had imagined. I realized that it was drawing strength from the Ender Crystals, and that the crystals had to be destroyed. I hit the first with a perfectly placed arrow. The second I destroyed by launching myself on the shockwave of Magnus's TNT. Using only my strength and my wiles, I steered the foul beast toward the third crystal. I flew the dragon directly toward the final crystal. Only then, Gabriel deliver his famous final blow. Yeah. We became heroes, and eventually, legends. The greatest the world has ever known. That was absolutely amazing! They didn't call us the Order of the Stone for nothing. Hmm. Wonder if that story will help me solve this puzzle. So Soren rode the dragon, huh? Looks like a banner about TNT.
Hmm, interesting. Hmm, that's redstone. There's another door? Soren, tell me the story again. Certainly. We'd spent weeks preparing for our greatest battle. Sorry, maybe the short version this time? Well, all right. I destroyed one crystal with my bow, the next using a TNT shockwave, the third with Eligard's redstone cannon, the fourth from upon the dragon itself. And then Gabriel poked it dead with a sword. How was that? Better. Thanks. <coughs> Reuben, do you know what to do here? It's worth a shot. That's redstone. That's a sword. Well, a banner of a sword anyway. Soren, tell me the story again. Certainly. We'd spent weeks preparing for our greatest battle. Sorry, maybe the short version this time? Well... All right. I destroyed one crystal with my bow, the next using a TNT sh shockwave, the third with Eligard's redstone cannon, the fourth from upon the dragon itself. And then Gabriel poked it dead with a sword. How was that? Better. Thanks. Looks like a banner about TNT. Bow and arrow. Great weapons. Hey, Reuben. Give me a boost, will ya? kept them. He looked me in the eye and swore he was going to dispose of them. Soren, how did these get here? I mean, you can't just move ender crystals, right? Jesse, this isn't, this isn't what it looks like. Our story, uh, the story, it's, it's mostly true. I swear, I swear it. Whatever you're thinking, 
I promise I can explain. So what really happened, Soren? If you didn't destroy the Ender Crystals... I, I can't. We swore never to speak of it. I think it's time to start talking. Uh, I'm afraid I haven't been honest with you, Jesse. We did defeat the Ender Dragon, but it wasn't exactly like I said. How not exactly? We got rid of it, but we didn't kill it, per se. In fact, we didn't even fight it. So what did you do to it? We didn't do anything. We used that damned command block. You used the command block to defeat the Ender Dragon? I'm afraid so. Understand, when I found that blasted block, we were nobodies. But with its help, we became stronger. Faster, we could do so much more. The others had no idea what I was doing. Yet the more I used it, the more we came to depend on it. I knew it was only so long before someone would find out. concocted a plan. I would use the command block to blink the Ender Dragon out of existence. <laughs> Securing our status as legends forever. We told the world we defeated a dragon. And the rest is history. All I can say is, I was a fool. So you finally admit it. Soren, how could you? Ivor. How long have you guys been standing there? Long enough that they heard the whole thing. So we're liars. All of us. You didn't think you could keep it secret forever, did you, Soren? The truth hurts, doesn't it? But Ivor... Why? Is this why you left the Order? Because Soren lied. Because they all did. Soren, Gabriel, Magnus, Eligard, they agreed to keep this a secret. How conniving of us. And you, you agreed to stay quiet too, in exchange for all of our treasures. <gasps> I've technically never told anybody. Jesse discovered the truth on her own. So this whole thing, the wither you unleashed, it's all been to teach the Order a lesson? To teach the world a lesson. To show you who the Order really are. Liars, cowards. And now, they know. And how is that any better? You reveal their lies at the expense of the world itself. Look, my wither plan obviously backfired. You think? I didn't know we'd end up with three of those things tearing the world apart. For a moment, I nearly forgot. Well, they are. And while we sit around talking about your dysfunctional order of liars, those things are still out there, wrecking the world. Jesse's right. Destroying the command block is all that matters anymore. How ironic that the best thing the command block gave us was the very means to destroy it. Spare us the poetry. It's not your strong suit. I've had this book for years. So, the enchanting book. What do we do with it? You craft a weapon, then put it on an anvil. Follow me. I'll show you. Ivor, I'm sorry. About everything. Yes, well, it doesn't matter now. Grab some ingredients and craft a weapon. I'll show you how to enchant it. Sweet. Let's see what Ivor's got in here. Let's see. There's a bunch of crafting stuff and... Diamonds! Score! <laughs> 
so I can an axe. Guess I could craft a pickaxe. Oldie but goodie. Just wait till you enchant it. Let's see what this enchanting book is made of. Behold, my enchanted diamond sword. <laughs> Should do the job nicely. But if you're fighting those wither monsters head on, you'll want better armor too. I enchanted these for the order. They're about as strong as it comes. Even able to withstand TNT. Any preference? I have eight different sets to choose from. And believe me, they're all excellent. You won't go wrong, whatever you choose. Let me take a look at them. It's all quite durable and sturdy. The adamantine impervium! Even harder to damage than it is to pronounce! I call this the Star Shield! No object in the universe can penetrate it. Even the Ender Dragon would have fled from this in terror. I call this one the Shield of Infinity. In no small part because it's infinitely cool. This is Swordbreaker. All but the strongest of weapons would shatter against it. I call this one the Ender Defender. Very strong against an Enderman's attack. That's the Redstone Riot, engineered to be virtually indestructible. This one is named Golden Goliath, as bright and powerful as the sun itself. I call this the Star Shield. No object in the universe can penetrate it. I call this one the Ender Defender. Very strong against an Enderman's attack. This is Swordbreaker! All but the strongest of weapons would shatter against it. I call this one the Shield of Infinity! In no small part because it's infinitely cool. All right, this is the set. Yes, a fine choice. Now go ahead and put it on. How do I look? Ready for action. You can take some for your friends as well. Sounds good to me. Cool armor, Jesse. Thanks. And there's plenty to go around. Now, let's get back to Soren's fortress and see how the Witherstorms are doing against those Endermen. Oh, my poor fortress. I see Endermen, so this means the plan's working, right? Shouldn't the Endermen have dismantled those things by now? Or am I just confused? It's not just you. Something's wrong. Jesse, over here! Axel! You guys made it! Nice freaking armor, by the way. 
Makes you all a lot easier to look at. Good to see you too, Axel. Do you still have the amulet? Safe and sound. That's not the problem. Then what is? The Endermen. They're not angry enough. I mean, some of them are, but a lot of them are just standing around moving blocks. You know, being Endermen. Ah, oh, blast! They've kept the main wither storm busy, but one of the smaller ones started attacking us. And Magnus ran off to fight that thing, all by himself. He's fighting a wither storm? Alone? Yep, kept saying something about paying for the mistakes of the past, whatever that means. If a fellow member of the Order of the... of the, uh... Order of the Stone. ...is out there fighting, then I belong out there too. Gabriel, no, no, I told you you're not who you think you are. My name is Gabriel the Warrior. And he's running the wrong way. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm not letting that idiot get himself killed. Gabriel! Come back here! <sighs> Without the command block, none of them stands a chance. Say what now? Why do they need the command block? I'll explain later. Fine. Hey, uh, you guys didn't check on Petra, did you? No, we came straight here. All alone in that cave? I hope she's all right. She will be, as long as we destroy the command block. So what's the plan? I mean, I know we gotta go in there, but... Can we just go for it, or what? Let's just go finish this. I don't suppose you happen to bring me any of that cool armor, did you? You think I'd let you fight in that? Here. Nice! I was feeling a little left out. Guys, let's go kick some command block butt. Enderman focus. I can't even make myself focus. We, we shouldn't be here. None of this is going according to plan. Soren, what are you doing? I, uh, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed meeting you all, but... Soren! Did Soren just run away? Soren, you coward! I can't believe you! So much for the mighty Order of the Stone. It doesn't matter. We have work to do. We need to get those Endermen to attack it! The tractor beam! Jesse, that's it! Make them chase you into the tractor beam! Ruben, can 
you give me a little help? need to find you a way up. Or build you a way up. That's it. Everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see. I've got redstone and cobblestone from Ivor's armory. I have some TNT from Boomtown. I've got pistons, repeaters, some wool, some leftover slime. Oh, and I still have that minecart. That's got to be enough to make something, right? I mean, if we use the TNT on, say... The minecart? Or those pistons. And we do have all that cobblestone. Guys, check it out. We build a cobblestone ramp, lay down some track, attach the TNT to the minecart, and launch it off the ramp like a rocket. <laughs> Heck yeah! I love that idea. So what are we waiting for? Let's hurry up and... Oh, look out! Ah! Axel! I got you! Lucas! You're here! Ocelots, distract that wither storm! Hey you! Get a load of this! Lucas, thank you. Anything for a friend. Now let's hurry up and build this thing! Done yet? Just need a few more seconds. Okay, it's finished. Quick, climb on. And Jesse, I know you can do this. We all do. Thanks, guys. It means a lot. Now go demolish that command block.
Rubens think we made it angry. Great. Ruben, whatever happens, we have to destroy that command block. You understand? Whoa. Why didn't I always carry an enchanted weapon? I'm coming, Ruben! It's doing everything it can to protect the command block. Which means I have to do everything I can to destroy it. Awesome weapon. Don't fail me now. how to get up there. The tractor beam! Hey, you! Just watch my back, Ruben. If anything goes wrong, I'll be counting on you. Bet you can't catch me!
car. Jesse, are you all right? We thought you were... I mean, I didn't think you'd made it. Reuben! Where's Reuben? I thought he was with you. You did it, Jesse! You actually did it! Hey, do you guys hear something? Reuben! No. Lupin? Are you okay, buddy? Come on, Rube. Say something. Jesse, I am... I am so sorry. People used to look at me like that once, Jesse. Having my memory restored has been both a blessing and a curse. Perhaps they deserve to know the truth about the Order. All those lies we told them. Maybe I should finally come clean. You're right. They do deserve to know. We all owe a great debt to Jesse and her friends, but I owe a debt to you people as well. Which is why, there is something I want to tell you about the Order. The Order of the Stone is not what you all believed. We were frauds. We used the command block to falsify our legacy. We were no heroes. So it is time for the world to celebrate new heroes. Real heroes. Thank you! Thank you, everyone. I know you think I'm up here because I saved the world or something. But the truth is, I didn't do it alone. Far from it. You see, 
I had my friends with me. There was Olivia, Axel, Petra, Lucas. They never gave up on the world or on me. Well, maybe once or twice. If they only knew. It's crazy to think my friends and I started out in a treehouse. And now, we've been to some of the weirdest places in the world. I mean, come on. We went to the Far Lands. There was this gigantic wall, and a huge maze, and a model of the Ender Dragon that... Well, you just had to be there. But when all was said and done, you know what really mattered? Finishing what we set out to do. Because there's no way we were going to let a world this cool get torn apart. We did it! Jesse, this is the Nether Star that dropped when the Wither Storm was destroyed. You want to do the honors? Oh man, this is gonna be so cool. to introduce to you the new Order of the Stone. And so it was that a new Order of the Stone was born, one whose adventures were only just beginning. For though the world had been saved, and the command block destroyed, there are many more worlds than just this one.